This is about the basic types of uh, arterial septal defects. The most common being the septum secundum ASD. That's what we discussed when the uh, formant secundum is formed in the septum primum. If the, that persists for a longer time and the, if the persists into the neonatal life, that is called the septum secundum ASD. And the, that uh, the importance of that will be it is device closable and also because it the margins will be seen and it is most of the time oval or circular in shape. And next common or next uh, commonly seen is the septum primum. This is also we discussed. It is because of the foramen primum, which is uh, where the uh, septum primum has to fuse to the ventricular septum. If the fusion doesn't happen, it forms the septum primum ASD. And most of the time, it will be seen as a T-shaped ventricular septum. That is, the uh, and the tricuspid annulus, the mitral annulus will be in the same level, and uh, the lower end of the T is formed by the ventricular septum. That is one of the important characteristics of the septum primum, the septum primum ASD. And also, it is also seen with the partial or complete AV canal defects. And uh, the septum secundum ASD is more commonly associated with the septal aneurysm. And coronary sinus ASD is the actually coronary sinus gets open into the RA, but if the unroofing of the coronary sinus occurs, this roof, roof of the coronary sinus doesn't make a good uh, communication, then the unroofing may cause the LA and RA communication through the coronary sinus that is coronary sinus ASD and it is more commonly associated with the left superior vena cava left SVC and we can get the um, uh, get the details of that by the injection of the left uh, contrast into the left anticubital vein and it will drain uh, directly into the coronary sinus and into the uh, left uh, left uh, LA if the unroofing is there otherwise RA and the other things are the SVC type and IVC type of ASD, sinus venosus ASDs, where the de defect is due to the defective, uh, uh, defective fusion of the IVC or SVC to the arterial septal and the, that defect will be uh, communicating into the LA through the communication in the arterial septal. These two defects are more commonly seen with the transverse echo in the bicaval view. If you keep the transverse echo in the bicaval view like this, Either the arterial septum will be uh, having a defect in the either SVC to joining to the ASD or the IVC joining to the ASD, and bicaval view of the TE will give a definitive diagnosis of the sinus venosus ASD.